I got a little tip for shooting off the rail. It's one of the biggest problems of guys, either when our opponent misses and they leave us like this on the rail, or when we're playing position and we end up on the rail. It's very difficult because we're only able to hit high on the cue ball and some people miss cue, you gotta have a straight stroke. But I'm gonna throw a couple of tips in for you guys today. Number one, make sure you chalk. You should chalk before every shot. But for sure, because we can only hit on the top side of the cue ball, you gotta make sure you chalk. As much you're hitting center ball, like a shot like this, you're only hitting the edge of the tip, which is like not even 10% of the tip you're using. You're, you're, you're only using just, just the tiny, like 10%, just like the part of my nail that's covering the tip is about all that's hitting the, the cue ball when you're using you know, a tip of English or more, which is what we gotta use here. Even if we're just hitting no English, but just high English, 12, 12 o'clock. Another good tip is when you're shooting at the object ball, and this is good for any shot, whether you're on the rail or not, you gotta remember that when your tip hits the cue ball, some people don't realize it's the bottom of the tip that's hitting the ball. So you can hit higher on the cue ball than you think. As long as you go straight through that ball, then you're not gonna miss Q. So don't be afraid to miss Q if you need to hit a little higher on the Q ball to get it to, to drive or dance or go forward good. Or whatever English you're using. So on a shot like this, A, I gotta not be afraid of miss cueing. I, I believe it's very important to once like all shots, you gotta see the shot up high and line up your shot. Then, I like to really teach a bridge. Some people, I believe, get too close to the cue ball. I like to teach being back, and, and I put my fingers a spread on the back end of the stick. But what the reason I'm doing this is I'm making sure my stick is as level as I could be, and I want to be back on the butt of my cue. So I, I want to make sure I'm able to get my keep my stick nice and level and stay at 90 degrees so when I shoot the ball, my tip could go through that ball. Because this kind of shot, I've seen too many good players make a bunch of shots, and this could be game ball, and they either miss cue or they just don't pocket it. The biggest secret I feel like to this type of shot, I only pull my stick back on my final stroke, probably not much more than the, than the rail, than the actually blue part of this rail. I'm gonna stroke my practice strokes all the way almost back to my hand. But if you watch, and if you watch other guys, when I'm ready to hit this ball, I stop at my white ball, look at the four ball, I just pull back to about here, which is only about halfway, and then I stroke through the ball. It's very important to go through that ball. 